So we had a cancellectomy on a, uh, a hip procedure. Um, so I figured this was a perfect opportunity to just go through the instruments and kind of show you guys some stuff real quick. Um, so, you know, let's get started. So as far as I understand, we usually go in to the, uh, the hip and then we dissect, we get down to um, the femoral head. Yeah. Once we get to the femoral head, we take a saw and we, we cut with the saw. Do you have any questions about the stuff I'm going to do? Oh, yeah. That's, we, were, we were actually doing a video real quick. Yeah, just, touch it. just going right. over, yeah, going over your stuff. So um, after you, you use the saw, you usually use the osteotome, correct? Right. Osteotome. Yeah, to uh, to uh, uh, remove so, the head. Yeah. Dr. Instrom likes to use a power corkscrew to get the femoral head out. Okay. You don't have the power. They just have yeah, we don't have the we power. We actually do have it. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. You just brought it up, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we uh, one trade it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, power it was, screw to take power out. Power screw yeah. here. Yeah. Then it's the two acetabular retractors and the little churn lead will already be on. The, these, the... These, these things. Okay. I can touch so it. These, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. These two acetabular retractors. Yeah. Okay. This is the femoral retractor for later. Okay. I don't use that for anything. No. Okay, you don't? Okay. Gotcha. No. So these you can put back in the tray. I haven't used those. The acetabular retractor, yeah. as well as the charnley, is used in for the acetabular part. This is the charnley. Yep. And so Please. I use this. So once I do all my reaming, which you know all of that stuff. Yeah. So I start with the reaming. Uh, oh, you have the big bold curette here somewhere too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, the curettes right here. So after I cut out all the soft tissues, and just before I start reaming, I ask for this thing, and I scrape the rest of the cartilage. Okay. Out. And then I start with the reaming, which is just standard. Yeah. And then what happens this is, is the reamer, the reamer, the reamer. Yep. So there's two reamers. I actually I can either just bring the reamer out and hold it, and you can just change the top. Okay. That's what they normally do. Yeah. Uh, I I just pull it out, hold it, and you can change it, or you, yeah. I hand it back to you. You can do that. Whatever. Okay. And then I I trial. I know a lot of people don't, but I usually trial. These are trials? Yep. These are window trials. When you put the trials on, I don't need this. You can put it on the other one. Okay, just the one. Just yeah. for trial? Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Because it's harder to put that thing on. There another handle? There is another handle. Um, it's under that side. Thank you. Should be usually, oh, that's where the other one is. Uh, I'm not sure if we have these sets. Yeah, I don't think oh, we okay. have them in these sets. Then you use this. Yeah. Okay. I can touch all of it. I feel yeah. weird. Yeah, it does. Now it does feel weird. But you put this on, and then for the trial, and then I push, put it in. Okay. And then, then that's what you use for the for the finishing. Okay. This thing goes on that. Okay. Don't necessarily need it for the trial. Yeah, I do. A little bit. Might as well. Now, do you use the? Um, you don't use any screws. No. Okay. Usually I don't. That's just if for some reason I'm not happy, and I usually know that for my trial. Right. So, and okay. then after I do that. Put it in. I put in the real one, and then I use I use a trial on here. I know a lot of people put in the permanent one, right? Okay. But uh, I put in a trial one, and then we turn to the femur. Okay. So once we start the femur, then I use one of those. Uh, if you have the the, the cobra. Oh, uh, the cobra. Uh, we have these the, aren't the ones that you're talking about. No, no. We had it on the last. Name. The the cobra from the last name. Yeah, okay. one of those. Okay. okay. And then. What I also use, if you have somewhere in this hospital, Bennett's that don't, aren't this wide. Which, right. They're smaller, a little bit smaller, but they're not as wide. Okay. If you have it anywhere in this hospital, that's what I use. You gotta try on this. With the Cobra, and then I use this okay. for the, the proximal fever. Then the next thing is box. box T. We don't mm -hmm. have a soft tissue protector yet, right? We do. Yeah. Oh, we do? We have that for you, too. That, wouldn't be necessary in this guy because he's. But thin. it's yours. It's not mine. I didn't get mine right, yet. Correct. Right. Yeah. Mine's been ordered. Ours yeah. has been yeah. ordered. So the soft tissue is just if somebody's got a lot of soft tissue, you know, your butt with somebody who's thin like this guy, you can just push it down and put it down. But that's what's next. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I start broaching, okay. starting with the zero. Mm -hmm. These are the brooches over here. And these are brooches and our brooch handles. So what happens is we'll go consecutively. If it's really big canal, I might say, oh, give me a three after the first one is set, because yeah, right. you have to just find it. But when I get tight, then what I do is, is supposing I have a five in there, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a little bit tight to get in, then I ask for the six, I'll tell you, don't take the five off. 
because okay. I'll put the six down as far as it can, and then I pull it back, and then I resync the five because often you can get past it safely, oh, okay. and then put the six back on. But when I get to that point, I'll tell you that. So okay. that's not something you have to remember. So once we do that, then I guess I used to. Do you guys have one thirty two here? Or we do. You, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I have to look at it, but normally. You know, the default is 127 for a little okay. extra offset. In what situation would you use the uh, cow car planer? The cow car planer. Oh, I'll ask you for it. If, if my cut is kind of off and I'm trying to make it look pretty for an x-ray, then I okay. use that thing. Right? I'll, I'll ask you for okay. it. Don't always use it, but sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> and that's basically, that's basically it. Once you give me the component, then I put, I use the inserter. This insert. This one? Yeah, okay. I don't use the one that controls version because it should only go one direction. Right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And, in, and then Just I don't give it any extra torque. Right. And then, then we... This will just click right onto the implant as well. Oh, this will yeah. click on there. Yeah, that's for the trial. So it's 127. He, this is the standard head, but they'll be here to tell you. Okay. Right. And the different size head, I mean, collar based yeah. on yeah, so the size of, of the brooch. There's a the colored the sticker on, on here, which corresponds with whatever neck size. So this is, this is, uh, so yeah, so we pull this one out. Six. So that's so blue. Be, yeah. That's a three. Yeah. So depending on what size. Depending what size, you just color coded it. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Thank you, Doc. What do I do? Yeah, thank you. One thing, so. But it has to be done up again because the one tray is only good for forty-eight hours. Okay. So right. They, this is got to be done. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll let them know. All so, right. So I'll show you guys a couple more things that we have here. Here we have a bovie. Use the bovie. A suction. Oh. Eye band. These are the shields that we use. When we uh, put on the hoods for orthopedic surgery, uh, these are the surgical gowns here. Um, and these are the drapes that we use. One thing to note too, so these brooches are really sharp, so you don't want to necessarily touch them, like change them out with your bare hands. Yeah. It's best to use a lap, yeah. cleaning them at the same time, right. and you're protecting your gloves so you don't yeah. get a hole on them. Yeah. So the laps sometimes they tend to be a little frail. Sometimes I even use the uh, the blue towel. Yeah, or that. Yeah. Because it'll be it's a little bit tougher, so I really get a good a good clean with it. Right. See you in a bit. Cool man. That's simple stuff. Yeah. Man, let's talk about this stuff. Well, yeah, that's about it. I mean, that's about oh, it. Yeah, we've got so. we've got three different inserters for the stem. Most yeah. doctors like this offset one, so this just clicks right onto the the actual implant. Yeah, and kind of locks it in place. It can still fall off. It doesn't like twist on, but yeah. it kind of like mechanically locks on there. Yeah, just so you can pass it to them. Okay. Uh, and then there's most people call this the bullet tip. This is kind of like a secondary impactor. Most doctors, if it's not down all the way with this one, they'll use this one just to to get yeah. it the rest of the way down. If this one doesn't lock on. And then this one actually threads on to the actual implant. Okay. Most doctors don't like this because they found that sometimes this will strip the actual implant. So, mm. it, so when they go to take it out after they've used this, say like five years later, they have to revise it and take the stem out. They find that their threads are stripped. Oh, and so, that's yeah, and most people don't like this one. Yeah. So. How about our, uh, our tray underneath? The, uh, the so the screws. The acetabular screws. And so uh, some doctors like to do it every case prophylactically, no matter how good their purchase is on the cup. Okay. Some of them like will do it if, if they don't like the cup placement or if they don't, the, the bone's not that great and they're worried that the cup might, might dislodge. So they'll, they'll use this. So this is your drill shaft. Mm -hmm. So you'll, you'll usually start with the smallest drill bit right here. Okay. So that just, this, this collar pulls back. Everything in orthopedics, if there's a collar, usually it pulls back or pushes yeah. forward. Yeah. Most of them pull back. So this will just click right on there. Mm -hmm. This is a drill guide. So that goes right on there. And then this gets loaded up on power. Just like in ortho trauma when you're doing an ankle fracture, they'll just drill, depth gauge, and then they'll, they'll say the size. Mm -hmm. And um, you guys will run out. We'll grab, uh, grab it, yep. Grab it for you, open it up, and then you'll have this prepared already. But this is a... Uh, U joint driver. Mm -hmm. so this again, collar pulls back. Make sure it's forward when, when you give it to them. This is a ratcheting screwdriver, so this is turning backwards. So turn it counterclockwise, so make it go forwards. Yeah. You load the screw onto here. 
It's like a, put it on there, and then you'll just pass to him just like that. Okay. Beautiful. And he'll, he'll take it. Yep. Beautiful. So that's Beautiful. A screw. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. You know, I appreciate it, Steve. Of course. That is a total hip replacement setup. Hopefully at one point for that nothing. These are the blades for the charm though. You don't. They go into that. But what's the most important thing to a successful total hip replacement, Derek? The most important thing? Yep. Hmm. What do you have in mind? Musica. Musica. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. I feel like that's one of the most important things for all Every surgical time. cases. And just one last run through you got these are some scissors. These are rangeurs. It's a small rangeur, a big rangeur, osteotome, a, uh, a cob elevator. Um, this is, these are the forceps that he likes. These are called bonnies. Um, this again is a femoral elevator that he uses right before he starts with the femur. Yeah, yeah he preps the femur, yeah. And um, these are two narrow homans, um, retractors that he likes here, and these are rakes. And, uh, you know, we'll be back again with another video. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what type of videos you want next, okay? We got you.